hello guys uh, in this tutorial uh, we'll discuss uh, how we can uh, display wordpress post by category okay so just just display the post category wise that is something we are going to show okay so you can see uh, this is our about page and here as a demo purposes okay uh, we just created a custom html you can see the html structure so this is like a category one and under the category one you can see there are three posts okay these are custom html as of now i mean the static html and after that you can see category two and then the post under category two so this is something we are going to show you that how we can get it done through dynamic right so this is custom uh, i mean static html as of now okay and we will display and the post as per category okay so let's do that so you can use um, custom post type as well or if you would like to use your default post called wordpress post you can see this is our wordpress default post and you would like to display the posts all the posts as per their category listing you can so first of all we need to figure out what is our category you can see if you go through the post okay you can see there is a tab called categories okay it's a, it's a default for the post okay but if you would like to create a custom post type and you would like to add a um, category then you need to add a custom taxonomy that is something called category okay so as of now we are using a wordpress default post and we will see what is there you can see the categories when you click on categories you can see the slug should be something like this taxonomy equals to category so the taxonomy is category and you can see there are already one category you can see and this is a default for uncategorized you can see if uh, you would like to add a multiple category something like this category category 2 okay you can see and then add new category so you can see the category 2 and category 1 we just created already right now uh, we'll go uh, we'll go to the post section okay so now you can see this is our post area okay so the first post is called blog 2 it's already selected to category 1 you can add category using a quick edit option you can see the list for categories name category 1 2 you can select category 2 and then update okay or after that you can choose i mean you can choose just category names whatever the category is so this is for blog 4 i'm just selecting category 2 and then update okay so like this you can add or you can add my another post something like this and post dummy okay and then add some this is for demo purposes and then you can see the category section and you just select category 1 to whatever you need and then publish so first of all you need to um, complete your backend area once you're done with backend okay just adding the post and selecting the uh, categories once you've done the backend area now you need to go your code where the custom HTML is there so now we are going to open about.php file where uh, we already created a custom html okay so go to the about page about.page php i just connected through file jira you can see and you can go through um, directly from cpanel and whatever you can okay now you can see the first this is the first div okay it's the first div this is for category one and then after that in the first div under category one you can see multiple post one this is also repeating right you can see so there are three post under category one you can see one two and three post under category one after that under category two you can see the one two three post same so this is the html structure you can see and then the uh, again the main div close and again the main div start 
and then category 2 and then you can see this the this re, this d is actually repeating you can see so now we need we will work through only the first one okay this one we will work through the first one okay so we don't need that the second one so let's remove this first as we don't need that right so I just remove so now we will add our custom code over there okay so in that case you need some custom coding and there is a website for us you can see this is our website we are already we discussed and we already added a code you can see how to display the post by category you can see so you will use this code easily i will share this link to the description don't worry about it so you can see the first define the taxonomy name using the get arm so first copy this line okay so i'm just copy and go to your file now you can see so what is our main div you can see this is our main div right you can see i already discussed uh, this is our main div so we will work through this main div so so above the main divs for this started just paste the get terms array equals to so we just need to remove this one this should be the category name so what is our category slug how you can find that so once you click on category okay once you click on category you can see the taxonomy equals to category so this is something we need to copy okay copy and then just go to your file and paste it over there okay so taxonomy is for category right now we will add our for each loop okay here as the main div started so just go through the link again just copy you can see the start main for each loop so we can see there are extra div we just need to remove just just need to take this one so whenever you take this code just consent just i mean concentrate properly and collect the actual code you, you don't need to actually copy and paste it, this div this is for demo purpose right so just copy this one only which i selected you can see and the, then copy and go to our php file and paste it over there above the main div you can see this is our main div this is our main div right and then <coughs> so this is our main div and after that in the main div there is also some divs is repeating you can see i mean the under the category one you can see the post this one is post this one is also a post and the third one so these three post uh, is available under category one right so here we here we need to add uh, another loop right this is something for each loop you can see and again we will add some for each loop here so let's go through the link you can see here the display the category name okay you can see the category name just copy this one just copy you can see how how this is uh, how we can fetch this category name right so you can see the main so main thing is the term right so the dollar equals to uh, dollar terms and terms id so in in this using this we can collect our get our i mean fetch our category name so you can see the term and the name so once you echo this one the your category will be displayed category name will be displayed so just copy and go through the file and then you can see that which this is our category name right so we need to replace this code here just paste it over there so here your category name will be displayed okay then go go to the file and link again and then you can see display the post in the inner loop so this is our inner loop okay so there are multiple divs over there you don't need to copy actually just copy these lines only okay so just copy once you copy it go to your php file and then paste it over there okay before paste it over there actually this as these are repeating deep so we don't need all of these three we just need only one so just remove these two first then just add your code right so you can see the again for each loop 
we started and it should be closed here right so go to the file you can see okay this one just copy and paste it over there okay so these divs has been completed right this div has been completed so the main divs has started before the main div you can see these divs needs to be closed okay so you can see the code so you can see in this article each and everything has mentioned profile you can take this collect this code very easily so i'm just going through this process and getting it done just copy and paste it the below the main div so this is our main div. so we are main div closed and after that paste now we need to change something the first one needs to change the post type is a default post that should be the post you can if you use custom post type then you can use uh, uh, custom post type name okay and the taxonomy should be replaced so category just copy you can see just copy and pasted the taxonomy name over there pasted okay so all are done now we need to change this line so this is the post title so how you can echo the post title if as we know displaying the title it should be the PHP the title right okay and here we will use WB tree modes actually these are the short content you can see it looks like a short content so we will use always uh, WB tree modes okay WB tree words just search on the Google you can see the you can see the first link from developers developer.wordpress.org just scroll down a little bit okay you can collect this code copy and paste it inside the p tag okay and then you can change the content short content length as per your need i am as of now i am just adding 20 you can change as per your need okay so this is done and after that the read more button has links will be the parma link something like this is the parma link okay parma link that's it okay so we are done so once we're done just go through the code again check if everything is all right okay looks like everything is all right okay plugged good then save save and update the file and go to your about page and then let's see what is happening right reload this tab okay now you can see so the first one is for category one category two and this is for on categories you can see so now these all are dynamic actually if you would like to add another uh, category so just go to your category and add new category name category 3 and whatever you want category 3 and then add new category okay you can select the post go to the post Suppose the uh, dummy post four you would like to select it uh, as a uh, category three. Just you can you can do quick uh, using this option quick edit, and then you can select category three and check on categorized and update. Let's see. Okay, just reload this tab. Now you can see category 3 is also coming up so this is something we can easily uh, display our wordpress post as per category okay and i will share this link to the description and this code will help you to get it done properly thank you